Hello and welcome to the Dean Network's 2016 Political Convention Red Carpet Coverage. I'm Trevor Over. And I'm Jenny Yanez. And today we're going to be covering the fashion do's and don'ts from the Democratic Convention in Philadelphia and the Republican Convention in Cleveland, where the fashions are just as fashionable and the crucifixes are unnecessarily large. First up, we have Debbie Arps. She's a Democrat from Kansas, and she is wearing a jean jacket that's just totally covered in buttons. No war for oil, meat is murder. Oh, I even see one for recycling. Oh, no, I love a throwback. No one's done that since the 90s. Ah. Fun fact, her jacket weighs over 400 pounds and sounds like a bunch of chalkboards being rubbed together. Next up, we have Patty Hornish. She's a Republican from Texas, a big state with a bigger inferiority complex. You know it. Now this cowboy chic style, as it's called, is popular in Texas because they know that cowboys were the last interesting thing to happen there. Mm. And I tell you, Jenny, I love seeing an important political convention treated with the same dignity and respect of a community theater production of Oklahoma. Oh, now case in point, Jason D. He's a Democrat from Delaware, and he's dressed up like the 1770s, complete with a tri-corner hat provided by Halloween Adventure. Now, I'll tell you, Jenny, I've seen this style at both parties conventions. Yeah, people on both sides of the aisle like to do Paul Revere cosplay. They seem to think it makes some kind of point. I don't know what it is, but you know what? I'm glad they're having fun. Oh, and I love the fife. Oh. Now this is Richard Campbell. As you can see, Jenny, folks here aren't afraid to wear hats and doors. I was talking to Richard not that long ago, and he tells me that that beard dye stained the sink in his room at the Best Western, but he wore it anyway because, like everybody here, he's trying to get on television. Oh, and that sound means it's time to play Who Wore It Best? American Flag Suit Edition. From the Democrats, we have Patrick Dooley, and for the Republicans, we have Sue Waltz. I have to give it to Patrick for doing it on stilts. Well, sure, but you gotta hand it to Sue. She can make the logical leap of making socks out of the stars and stripes, but still saying that anyone that burns the flag should be waterboarded. Mm, yes, good point. And here comes the white guys. Mm. All sorts of white guys. Tall white guys. Short white guys. White guys with quiet voices. Brown hair. Just like a whole spectrum of white guys. Wow, you know, Trevor, these guys look square, but get a couple Sam Adams in them, and then they will sing you every single word of living on a prayer. And with all the action inside the convention hall, let's not forget about the fashions outside the arena. That's right, this is Dennis LeBeau, and he's going to try and stop traffic in Cleveland fully nude. God bless America! He's protesting the size of the big banks, and he thinks anyone's going to care or even notice while his cock is out. And let's not forget about Officer Bryant. Now, Officer Bryant is outfitted with military-style body armor and a fully automatic assault rifle. We have seen a lot of these automatic assault rifles this year. That is right. Now, last year was all about armed militias, but this year is about the subtle threat of lethal attacks against American citizens. Mm. That's it for Jenny and I in the studio. Tune in later when we interview a children's step dance team that does routines about politics for some reason. Hi, I'm Siobhan from College Humor. Click over here to subscribe and click here for more fun stuff. You filthy animals. I was abandoned in this office when I was 10 years old by my parents. I've only eaten pizza for such a long time. I think I have scurvy.